Ask the horseman. The horseman. The horseman. The force horseman. <laughs> the force horman. What he means. Bronzewood. The horm. The horman wheezes. <laughs> the foreman wheezes bluntly. One consignment. They sell it at Trader's Wood. So. Bronze wood at Trader's Woods. Uh, one bronze wood and nectar to port prosper. All right. Uh, and a gourd of Chorister Nectar, too. This bunch of work shy in greats need constant shouting at. My voice has been given up the ghost. Some nectar should have me bellowing again like a champion. Carrion's your best bet there, or Titiana, the flower town. We'll pay like. If you purchase the necessary goods and return them to Fort Prosper, you'll make a tidy profit. Be warned, the materials aren't cheap, and they'll occupy space in your hold. Okay. But I can do it. Take your leave. I have other business. Uh. Ooh! Uh, the narrow streets huddle in the shadow of a great crag. Banners display the stony features of her renewed maj majesty. It's... It used to be the Enduring Majesty. I don't know if I pointed this out last time. I don't know what's changed. As I said, it's been a while. It used to be her Enduring Majesty. Now it's her Renewed Majesty. Might I also point out... That in actual history, I think in 1901 is when Queen Victoria actually died. So she she's literally more enduring now, four years after her death. Still being alive, that she's ever been, so I don't know. Or maybe that's what happened. Maybe she died and she came back. I mean, fuck, it's not that weird. Wealthy West Enders strut by exchanging polite greetings and veiled gossip, while sooty East End workers file to our refining factories. Peeling posters promise fresh, wholesome lives in the reach to new arrivals, <coughs> but most of the posters are year years old. More newcomers arrive at Port Prosper than ever leave it. Uh, write a port report. Very little happens on Port Prosper, but someone might take an interest. Our first port report, everyone! The factories continue to belch out smoke, while others over the bridge hopeful crowds gather outside Admiral Nelson. The Admiral Nelson. Lovers can be seen strolling arm in arm along the promenade, a respectable distance from their chaperones. There was a brief protest outside the Windward Company factory, swiftly quelled. The scones at the Nelson were as good as ever, though the piquancy of the jam was less than might be desired. To earn rewards, hand your port reports to the injured veteran at Victory Hall. In injured veteran at Victory Hall. Or the prudent secretary at the company house. Both docks are near New Winchester. So I'm definitely going to give it to Victory Hall because I fucking hate bureaucracy. Um, it's narrow streets huddled... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I tend to parade. Oh, the Feast of the Red Saint. We did this last time, but let's do it again. We're going to party. Uh, get lit, yo. Gaudy banners fly over the painted rooftops of Port Prosper, and the smog of the East End is hidden away by giant posters displaying the dragons in varying degrees of vivisection. The cramped streets are clogged with people, wealthy East Enders promenade about the amusements, while impoverished East Enders work the stalls and huddle by chestnut fires for warmth. A painted dragon, pursued by knights, is chased through the crowds to a chorus of Ho, oh, the riding. Mingle with the West Enders. Mingle with the East Enders. We're gonna do what we did last time. We're gonna be a, a people of the people. Skyfarers are not limited by rigid social structures of Port Prosper, though neither are they beloved for it. Let's do this! You are treated as a curiosity and viewed from all sides with suspicion. Still, you find yourself in conversation with an elderly colonial who has retired to Port Prosper. A bulwark of sanity, he calls it. A line in the sand against all the stuff out there. He introduces you to one of the riders in the procession, who takes you on a tour of the carnival. You converse with chestnut sellers and flower arrangers, drink in the outdoor pubs, and dance with several of the vaudeville players. At the end of the day, you've learnt many names and faces, and even acquired a few calling cards. Ooh. You're tolerated by the prosperous West Enders. You're tolerated by the impoverished East Enders. 
Roast chestnuts burn on open fires. East Enders stoke the flames and tend to the charcoal burning. Oh boy. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Let's attend the grand ball, the glory of Port Prosper season. You may now attend the ball. Ooh. I will attend the ball. Uh, oh, jeez. I thought that was hair. I can't even... Uh. I just like that that comes up so randomly like this. Be on your worst behavior. Um, I thought that was hair, and for a second that looked like Billy Lenz from Black Christmas. The original Black Christmas. Uh, candles illuminate the great staircase that sweeps up to the residence of the Windward Company, which has been chosen to host this season's ball. West Enders promenade their finest hoop skirts and starched collars pre predominant. Oh, and starched collars predominant. Oh, I read that wrong. West Enders promenade in their finest. Hoop skirts and starched collars prominent. White tie is the order of the evening. A few East Enders, mostly actors, have secured tickets, but most are servants if they are seen at all. The orchestra is playing the score from Victoria's first ball under her throne of hours. Ooh. Be on your best behavior. Be on your worst behavior. I think we were on our worst behavior last time. This is, after all, a party. Um, let's do it. Failed. Your deportment is atrocious and your fashion choices are dangerously novel. Your conversation is, is appalling and your insinuations... I lost one westward reputation. Fuck. Uh, your insinuations are vulgar, vile... And absolutely untrue, as one company representative sputters at you. The servants are in hysterics, so too are some of the ladies, but for entirely different reasons. The, the parsimonious chairman is out on this morning constitutional. East Enders steer clear of his route. Uh, West Enders track him down to make in entreaties. Fuck, so I... Uh, mm, they don't like me anymore. The now... Okay. Well, that didn't go as well as it did last time. Uh, this is... Okay, take or leave. Um, explore Port Prosper. We basically just finished that, so that's done. Uh, offer transport to settlers. Explorers, uh, freshly arrived from Albion. Further into the reach. Is this an officer? Perched atop the mountain of luggage is a radiant young woman. Um, she is an officer dressed in what an actor would wear in a fantastical romance. A tiara rests on her brow. The incognito princess! I'm gonna put a tiara on. A steady stream of commoners come to pay homage, bowing and curtsying enthusiastically. Starling circle in dense swarm above her. Refugees from old London. And a common sight, although not in such numbers. She ignores everything and hands you papers so pristine they can only be forged. Officers require a sign-on page. You unlock this and hand it I need a hundred sovereigns to get this goddamn princess on my boat? On my train? Offer her a berth on your locomotive. She would certainly make an interesting addition to your crew. A first officer. Affiliation Bohem by one. I have an officer. Oh no, he's my chief engineer. Go for it. Welcome aboard, your majesty. I am a humble first officer looking for- what's the word? When commoners do things for coin? She asks. Works. That's it. She beams at you, delighted. As innocent as a Gatling gun. <laughs> as she steps aboard, a commoner calmly takes a spoon from his pocket and scoops out his eyes. Like you do. After such radiance, all else is tottery, says, he says between screams. It seems she has already forgotten about her signing on money. Oh. So do I still have my money? <laughs> yeah, she didn't take it! Awesome! Awesome. Okay, that's why it's so much. Because it's just to freak you out. She doesn't actually take it. Um, a parsimonious chairman offices. The offices of the Windward Company on Port Prosper are elegantly appointed and antiquated. Uh, paintings of Old London adorn the walls. The parsimonious chairman has work for ruthless captains. He sits behind its imported mahogany desk, a decanter of brandy at his left hand, and a series of neatly stacked reports on his right. A fire has been lit in the cavernous hearth. It is too warm. He promises an opportunity for profit. 
He pours the brandy into two glasses, then produces a, a ruler to measure the amount. To business, he smiles, revealing the extensive damage to his teeth. I was a puglist back in London, a young man's game. Uh, he stands at the window, watching the starlight bathe the sloping streets of Prosper. <clears throat> This place exists because of constant work, from the politicians who planned it, to the pioneers who built it, to the soldiers who even today defend it from the Tacketies. Oh, that's right. This guy's a stovepipe. We have need of more such work. Bring me nameplates from Tackety Engines. We keep lists. You will be rewarded. You will hunt Tackety locomotives and provide the nameplates for the parsimonious. I will do no such thing. The parsimonious chairman sighs, as though used to disappointment. He allows you to finish your brandy before ringing a little bell. His secretary escorts you out. My door, the chairman says, is always open. Mm, no, we're not doing that. Uh, we're going to, I guess, side with the Tackities for this. Just because we might as well. Um, just because they seem the more adventurous. And also, I, I want to be left alone to my own devices to figure out crosswords, apparently. Ask about the Albion Transit Relay. The Albion Transit Relay lies in a cul-de-sac close to the Port Prosper Dock. There, locomotives can secure passage to the far-off territories of Albion, where London lies. So that's where London... Okay, that makes sense. Albion is the old English word for England. Makes sense. Um, inquire about passage to Albion. Another captain may have useful information about the relay. I don't want to actually go yet, but I would like to see it. A gorillous captain is delighted to have an excuse to talk. I'm happy to help, man. Happy to help. Help. The English. They point down the docks. There you are. Keep going past the port. You can't miss it. If you've good eyes, you might even able to see it from here. Passage ain't free, mind. You can travel first class if you have ministry stamp permit, or you can bring a couple of barrels of hours to travel second class. All right. Offer transport to settlers. Where will we be going? Uh, explorers, adventurers, and pioneers gather here to freshly arrive from Albion. Uh, would be come on your station again. Uh, our settler settled. Okay. We're doing it. Oh, no! This is... Oh, this is... Oh, this didn't go well last time. Um... He would take me to lead and be lead beater and stain rod nature reserve. I'd love to see the wilderness from a safe distance, of course. She smiled benign benignly as one of your crew carries her steamer trunk on board. And if you'd be so kind, could you do some hunting on the way? The chorister bees have been attacking again. I'll pay you for the trouble of killing them, of course, but only if you do it quickly and only if you harvest a stinger for me. Alright, that's the person that didn't make it last time. Shit, I hope we don't fuck that up. Alright, uh, Nelson's Emporium. We need to sell. Can I sell some supplies? I can't. Unseasoned hours. Oh, selling. There we go. Oh. Sell the fuel. There we go. Alright. I don't want to sell the fuel, but we're going to be using a lot of supplies in um, the early game. I get we can't take this. So, like, in searching for stuff. So, let's see. I, I went to go press M for map. That's not it. We'll just crawl over here. Get the experience. Oh, we need to get our experience. There's the relay. He sees height. Alright. We're not going to do that then. We're gonna go down. I said this is on a cul de sac, so this yeah, this is probably a dead end. Um Oh shit, I didn't appoint the princess. I think I need to be in port for that, so let's do it. Excuse me, excuse me, coming back in. All right. Um, nothing changed here yet? Nothing has changed in the neath? First officer, this tiara wearing force of nature is definitely not a princess. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Why would you even question that? What the fuck's wrong with you? All right. 
Now you're equipped. And you know what? We're still here, so let's just go for it. A moment of reflection. Choose a facet. Grow stronger. Scarred. A spell in prison. An interlude in red and gold. The canines? And a scandal. Will this, what will this increase? Veils. Mirrors. An interlude in red and gold. Let's do that. I feel like we picked scandal last time. Uh, you lost your mind once. They put you in a splendid hotel managed by a cheery gentleman who would determine when you could leave. How colorful the other guests were. How red the curtains. How gold the fittings. How secure the locks. Eventually you were allowed to leave. But was your recovery genuine? Yes, you feel much better, thank you. Oh, okay, I can choose. So we'll go to Uh Though the trial and error and termination, you learn to tell what is from what is not. The manager said he was sad to see you go. No, you just learned to lie. You said what you had to, and they sent you home. Even now, your world is red and gold and splendid. Let's see the other things. Spell in prison. The judge, stony face, condemned you to New Newgate, the stalactite prison of old London. I remember that. I broke out of there. I think with a pickaxe in fallen London. It's dark and thick as tar. Its cells were small as pantries. How did you spend your days there? You served your time quietly. You notched each dismal day into the cell wall. You steel steered clear of the monsters and the meek they preyed upon. You dreamed of the day of your release. Better the wolf than the lamb. You ruled your corridor like a robber king. Even the guards knew better than to push you. Your punishments were less than you deserved. Scarred. You came close that day to death. It left its mark. What is it that nearly killed you? An attempt on your life. There is a bullet scar beside your heart. You have learned since to be more judicious in your choice of friends. An engine accident. A breech pipe, a jet of scalding steam. You spent a week on the brink... Trapped in boiling dreams, scars are still livid on your skin. Hmm. I want to increase some veils. Because it's still ten. Oh, okay. So these are... Again. It, it's been a while. I vaguely remember this. So this is the main thing that's going to be increased. And these are the... If one of the two options will increase the secondary thing. Alright. Noted. A scandal. You were the gossip of London salons, the target of blistering editorials in the Gazette. Mad, they said. Bad, they said. Dangerous to know. What was the incident that exposed you to the buffeting wings of public opinion? A torrent affair. A torrent affair. Secret letters, warm and yearning, furtive assassinations? Furtive assassinations? Where desires, among other things, could be unlaced. The reports were salacious. A parade of debauchery. Absence, wantonness, more absinthe. Uh, absinthe, not absence. This would be the opposite of debauchery. Uh, brawling, gambling, blasphemy, and slander. Absinthe and prisoner's honey. Prisoner's honey alone. Prisoner's honey in company. Is there a vice you haven't explored? Is it possible there are only so many hours in the day? Can I only get to level 20? I guess as my legacies go on, these will increase. Maybe. Or maybe I just pick one now and then these are all there. Maybe. Right now I'm going to go for... An interlude in red and gold. And I'm feeling much better. Okay, it's not... They're not still going to be there. I don't know if that helped, but it's going to be fine. So let's go down to Magdalene's. Send out the owl. It's so weird saying the owl and not the bat. Your owl reports back, then glares at you. Its job is done. Why aren't you doing yours? Ooh. Something to crave? What? What? That is... That is scandalous, friend. It's 
weird. You gotta make like wide turns. A distant shriek through that cloggy undergrowth. What haunts this far-flung path? That is a very good question that we will soon unco uncover. What is this? Scoop? Requires butchery. I don't have butchery! The scout reports a successful expedition. Oh, oh, they're ours! Are they ours? Is that what those are? Okay, we need to get butchery. But scoop need but butchery. Uh, all right. Is that gonna be the same in all of them? Something that glisters, something grave. All right. So we won't do that now. I guess we'll come back later when we have butchery. Is that a a skill that we need? I don't like this. I don't like where we are in this. There's a mountain path that I am not cool with. Oh, it's cold here. That's cool. Heh. Is that the something that glisters? Something of horror. Jesus Christ! Oh shit, are you friendly? Don't fuck with me. Oh no, you're not friendly. Oh god, what the shit? Techity oh, Techity Scout. What? I'm your friend! Oh shit. Heat, your heat bar is full. Ooh! Okay, hang on, we'll go over that in a second! Oh no, oh no, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We died! <laughs> oh. What is that? What was that? <laughs> Holy shit! What? 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 I beg your pardon, madam! Okay! First death and we're... A little less than two hours in! <laughs> You, with a groan like a dying whale, your locomotive hulls buckles. Your hull has fallen to zero. Your captain is dead. The hull cracks. The sky pours in. Well, first of all, let's read this advice for captain that so graciously showed up. Your heat bar is full. This happens when you fire many shots in short succession. While you're overheated, you can't use lateral thrust. And if you fire a weapon, you'll take damage. Okay, that was probably attributed to it. Um, if you wait a few seconds, your heat will return to normal levels. Okay. Well, fuck. We're dead. Die. And I die. The cold takes you. <sighs> Nala is lost. They managed to reclaim Orpheon. Spatchcock. Spatchcock reclaimed locomotive. Okay, a perfect chart. You'll start at level two. Okay. No, my owl! My owl's gone! <laughs> we lost the owl! Fuck. Though most fixtures were reclaimed, the Cyclovian owl was unfortunately lost. Fuck, I'm so glad I backed the Kickstarter for that! The bank, after funeral expenses, passes on what was left from their estate. I've inherited a hundred and two dollars. Though possibly inaccurate, a copy of your predecessor's chart was discovered. When all is done, you will be a wiser person than the previous captain started out as. Something awaits you. Something awaits us in port. And that is... 
The restart. <laughs> okay. We're not gonna adjust difficulty. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Shit. You know what? We're gonna stick with Zaylor. And we're gonna do- we're just gonna do everything like- Fuck! I know it's cheap. But we're gonna- we're gonna do this, so. Nose. Give me my cute little nose. I should probably save this configuration somehow. Outfit. I'll just put myself in a different outfit. There we go. And I'll give myself a nice, uh, bun. I didn't die. I just- it, it, some shit happened. There we go. There we go. Uh, Hat Hattress. Brother Hattress. No, thank you. Sister Hattress. Madam Hattress. There we go. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't my chin. You can't. You can't fool me, alright? That was my chin. <laughs> I have faked my death. And, uh, I'm in, I'm, I'm in hiding. We see, still seek the truth. There we go, okay. Will we have to go over everything again? Oh, where are you in the dark? A new lineage! Man! We're unlocking all kinds- These- Sorry, I was just- ADD moment sidetracked by the music I feel like this is either reused Fallen London music or reused Sunless Sea which I'm not knocking that but it just sounds or, what am I saying I, it, this might have been in the early access anyway um interlude in red and gold oh wait no I didn't read the other two shit I'm an idiot All right. Uh, let's do this. All right. Ambition, an old friend, an earnest mariner. All right. We're we're gonna speed all through this because we've done it. Consider what to do with it. Examine the box. We're not gonna sell the box. All right. Explore the city. Promise of days. Oh, what about trading? Oh, a porter at the station advises you to visit the nearby pub. Promise of days. Okay, what? Well, we already did that. This is the promise of days. All right. Introduce yourself to the season captain, because I need to ask about all of this shit again. Um, inquire after the earnest mariner. Um. She speaks of you often. Read the letter elsewhere. Okay. Um. Encoded letter. Decode her message. We can't do that yet. I don't know how we unlock secrets. I don't know how we unlock secrets. But. Oh, I got some of my crew. That's cool. Oops. Officers, thank you. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's look at my inventory. And we've got the. No, we've got the owl! It seems we're always going to be- we're always going to have the owl. That's fine. Okay. Uh, explore the city, repair your locomotive. My own locomotive isn't damaged. It's fresh out rebirth. Okay. Let's... Let's do this. Sorry- oh, okay. Claimed. Claimed. Magdalene's lies to the west of New Winchester. Okay. So- mm. Fuck. Okay. Saint away canning station. That's 400. For a canning station. That is butchery. So... Cramped quarters. Proper bugger to her load. Still have Jerusalem. 
establishments. Your associates among the authorities. Academy. You have associates among scholars and scientists. Bronze with shielding. We can't afford any of these. Why am I looking at it? 